Yeah, yeah some goals for our team. Uh, obviously, when you're when you're taking over a program that had a, a, a national champion or runner-up last year on the men's side and a, a national semifinalist on the women's side, um, these players that are coming back are are looking to have big goals as well. So. Um, really what we're concentrating on right now in the beginning of the year is just the, the process to get there, the, the hard work every day, the, the fitness, the technique changes, the, the double strategies we need to do in order to play at a competitive level. Um, I think that's going to be the key. I, I, obviously, our, our goal every year is to win the conference and to, to make the NCAA regional on both sides and then really advance as far as you can. Obviously, uh, people know our region is, is really tough, so if you can get through that region, you've got a great chance of of going far once you get to the round of 16, which lucky enough is in Florida for us this year, so if we can advance that far. But uh, our goal is really just to, to do the process of, of every day and get better as a team. And, and we talk about family a lot and, and, and supporting each other. So I think if we can do those things and, and just in, enjoy the process and the journey every day, I, I think we can accomplish our goals for sure. Okay. Key, uh, key returners and impactful players, uh, starting on the women's side, um, We've got uh, two seniors uh, this year that played big parts um, last year in, in Anastasia Wagner and uh, Marine Biargio, uh, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, both of those did an outstanding job. I mean, Anna was uh, ranked as high as number one um, in doubles last year. Um, Marine was a top uh, 15, 20 singles player the whole year. So those two will be, uh, be big returners, as will... Madeline Gauthier, um, who will be a sophomore this year. I think she's made some big strides in her game to really um, help our team. And she was kind of in and out of the lineup last year, but did a great job at, at nationals and won some, won some big matches for them down the stretch. Um, we've got three newcomers, I think, that will, will, will be impactful with uh, Maja Pindelska, Christina Jerkova, and uh, Fabiola Cardenas, who are joining us in January. And, um, and they're just learning right now and getting on the learning on the fly, but I think they're going to have to, to play big big spots for us and, and compete hard, and I think they're up for the task. Um, on the men's side, we really a, a new team for the most part, and we have uh, Jaime Bueno is coming back. He played singles and doubles for us, and then uh, Oscar Nermio is a, a senior for us, as well as Francisco Aparicio, who were not so much on the single side last year, but were very impactful and won big matches at, in doubles last year. Um, so Jaime really our, our big, uh, big returner on both sides. So we had uh, two players with uh, Thomas and Vincent who were, were from France who sat last year who are ready to, ready to play this year after, after, after waiting to play. So um, they're going to be, be big at the top of our lineup for sure. And uh, they've known each other for many years, so that should help in, in doubles as well. Schedule highlights and, and, and big non-conference matches. Um, on the women's side, uh, with, within conference, are, it's just going to be very tough overall. Uh, Lynn and Barry have been very strong for many years. Uh, Nova Southeastern's been good. You know, Rollins, Florida Southern, all those teams have been really strong. Um, in terms of non-conference, we're really looking forward to playing uh, Armstrong State and uh, St. Mary's out of Texas. Um, Armstrong is the, the defending national champions and have been dominant for many years. And uh, St. Mary's made the the Elite Eight last year and, and was up 2-1 after doubles against BYU Hawaii who also who beat us in the semifinals. So um, two, two very tough teams there in the, in the non-conference. Uh, on the men's side, a lot of the same teams. I mean, Barry and Lynn will be, be very strong um, in there. And then on the men's side, we'll also play Armstrong State who we played in the national semifinal last year, um, as well as we'll kick off uh, the season with Lander who's a top five team. So um, we get some early tests. Armstrong is an early test for both teams as well. We'll play them in mid-February. So we, we start rocking and rolling pretty, pretty quick.